Swati Cup and welcome to Phuket Extra. Back in the studio today, we've got the latest in Phuket smoke haze problems a bit later in the bulletin. Samui officials are holding meetings to brainstorm ways of avoiding more box jellyfish deaths along the Gulf of Thailand coast. Three people have died from stings in the past 14 months on or near the island following the death of a 20-year-old German girl this week. The use of nets to protect some of the popular beaches are being investigated. With some of the deaths and stings occurring at night, it's thought the jellyfish are attracted to the artificial light along some of the beaches. More trouble with security guards along the notorious Soy Bangla, with another video emerging showing the thuggery and violence from the people who are meant to be keeping the peace. It's not the first time these types of beatings have been captured on video or reported to police. Earlier this year, an Australian expat was caught on video, subject to a pack attack from security thugs outside the Taipan disco. The smoke haze continues to hang around the island today. The pollution index rose to a high of 214 yesterday, a record for Phuket. This morning it started around 120, but is expected to build during the day. The Singapore government is putting pressure on retailers to boycott products linked to palm oil and firms linked to the fires in Indonesia. You can do the same by reading the labels and avoiding products with palm oil, the main crop derived from the plantations in Indonesia. As far as the flimsy face masks being worn by people, they may assist with dust and larger particles, but will do nothing to protect you from the smoke in the air. Well, coming up next, another death of a swimmer on a local tour and your motorbike gone in 60 seconds. All coming up next on Phuket Extra. Thailand's premier SSI Diamond Dive Centre. Visit us in Geelong or on c-bees.com. CB's Diving. Adventure in good hands. Welcome back to Phuket Extra, our daily news fix, all in less than five minutes. Marine police are urging tour companies to be vigilant about life jackets and proper supervision following another death of a tourist while swimming off Koh Kai in Bang Na Bay. The tour company says the 32-year-old swimmer was seen choking and disappearing underwater. Tour boat staff got him on board and applied CPR, but it appears the man died on his way back to Rasada Pier. Motorcycle theft remains a big problem in Thailand. Videos posted yesterday show just how quick and easy it is for thieves to take your bike in less than a minute. And in this other video, it's a much more violent method of stealing, but just as efficient with your bike already running and providing an easy escape with you stranded wondering what the hell just happened. Key locks and wheel locks and not leaving your valuables in your bike are a good start to protecting your two-wheel transport. Well, to today's weather and our wind chart again shows very light winds around the island and down around the Malacca Straits, not much to blow the smoke away. Regionally, there's a low pressure system at the top of the Bay of Bengal. And now here's a look at Phuket's five day forecast. Well, that's the weather and that's all for today's Phuket Extra. I hope the smoke will clear up in the next few days and you get a chance to enjoy the beautiful Phuket sunshine again. Thanks for joining us on Phuket Extra. We're back again tomorrow. Buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. Sawadikap. We are ready to provide international medical service with warm Thai hospitality. Call us at 1719.